Willowbrook kind of came out of like the pandemic, you know. We were all like really hungry musicians and looking for other musicians that were willing to work. And it was just a very special thing that we all kind of found each other. Uh, August 2021 we started. Yeah. And our first two shows, nobody came to. It was in a <laughs> record store downtown New Brunswick, and it was empty. Nobody was, was even like there to buy records. Going crazy and playing everything to, to silence. But the pandemic really took a good hit on all of us. We didn't have any distractions. It was just, we can get ourselves out of this just by playing, playing and playing, and staying focused on this one thing. And now it's just our second nature. We tend to play live shows about once every two weeks in more recent times. Started branching out to owners of bars and different places. Um, and being that we're making a name for ourselves, it's really helping us grow and play more shows. The album should be out mid-June, June 10th on, um, but no, late, no later than uh, mm -hmm. July. Putting the songs together was what we did mainly through the pandemic and coming out of it. I said we were just in here for about a year, practicing songs, practicing songs, bringing in new songs, writing songs together, and not until this week we, we haven't started really recording anything. Right now we have 12 songs ready for the album, which we're going to be recording within the next month throughout May. We have a lot of material that's ready to come out. We probably have about three, four albums worth of material, but as in terms of focusing right now, we got um, about 12 songs, 12 to 14 songs ready. I come from a very 90s grunge alternative background in my play style and Steven comes from very like 60s, 70s rock, you know, Rolling Stones, Police, The Doors, like that is his, you know, complete sound. And same thing with Jeremy, Jeremy kind of has a blend of both of those as well. So you kind of get this like, it's very punk-esque because it is just a bunch of, you know, early 20 year old, you know, teenagers that are just making noise together. But it does have that, you know, like, classic rock standpoint. I feel like EPs and singles and any sort of release pre-album should be used to create energy to make a listener say, I want to listen to more, you know? And even whether that be, I want to listen to more of the same sound or a different sound, you know, see what the band has to offer. I feel like that's the best way to introduce somebody to a group. But these... EPs and solos that you're gonna, singles that you're gonna be hearing are gonna be um, a, like a mixture of what we have to offer in writing as a group. You'll hear that the EPs and the singles have a much different message in the albums, which is the way we like it. The album's more like a book. We have a lot of things we want to say on it, but it's, um, it's an experience over anything. We want people from first song to last song, we want them to have a, a similar feeling, but we want it to be like a roller coaster of those feelings. Yeah. 